Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about hair and how we can add that volume and life to our flat and straight hair, which is what I have right now. There's nothing going on here, it's just flatness and straightness. Now I'm going to show you how to turn your hair from this into this. So, what you're going to need to get this look, you're going to need a Y2 comb, and I'm going to use this to part my hair in sections. You're also going to need some clips here, and this is just to hold um, any excess, excess hair out of the way while you're, you're cur curling one section. Sorry guys, I can't talk today. <laughs> just having one those days. All right. Um, and you're also going to need a brush, and this is to detangle each section. So I have a really big paddle brush here. I love this thing. Um, and then last but not least, you're going to need one of these babies, which is a curling iron. Uh, this is the Revlon um, here, and this is a two inch barrel curling iron to give you those really nice big curls it has a ceramic plate so it does not pull or tug on my hair which is great it gives it a lot of slip okay um so yeah that's what you're gonna need all right stay tuned and enjoy the video it just kind of comb through my hair first uh, make sure I get out all of the tangles and then I'm going to section off my first section, which I usually start at the front first and I do my bang Oops. and get a more of a hold there and count one, two, three, and then pull out again, one, two, three, then slowly inch it out and then boom. Okay. Now, I am not going to mess with this curl that I just made here. I'm just going to let it sit like that. Um, some people like to take it after they finish. They will take it and wrap it like this and pin curl it. But I'm not going to do that because I'm not looking for really big, big volume. If you're looking for big volume, I suggest you pin curl it so your curl really sets kind of tightly. But I'm not looking for that. So I'm just going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to comb it. I'm not going to do anything while it cools off. Because you want it to cool off before you start to comb through it or mess with your curls. Okay? Alright, now I'm going to move on to the next section here. So just going to take my comb and part it. Just like that. And I... You can see that I um, I kind of get big sections. I grab big sections. Um, if you want to do smaller sections, that is going to give you a lot more volume, okay? But for me, uh, bigger sections are okay. So I'm just going to split this one into two. All right, so I'm taking this top section here and make sure... There are no little flyaways in the way because you don't want it to get caught in the curling iron because that has happened to me. Okay, so now that you got that section, you're going to clamp right there at the roots, bring it around, count one, two, three, and then I'm just going to inch it out a little bit and then tighten it back up. And count again one two three and inch it out again roll it back up count one two three and inch again and count one two three and see how it just kind of falls <laughs> so I mean you know that's the this is the curl I'm getting here. So it's not really tight, okay? You see that? But it gives me that nice 
wave which is what I like so if you want a tighter curl like I said smaller sections and um, yeah I'm just gonna let this cool smaller sections and then um, and make sure you hold um, the curling iron on each section a little bit longer so I'm gonna do the same thing with this section here go right at the roots and one two three again one two three and one two three and then we're gonna let it fall and there's that one okay so I'm going to continue doing this all the way around my head now I'm going to do the same thing to this little section right here. When I get to the back, I'm going to show you guys what I do with the back cuz I do something a little bit a little bit different with the back than I do the front. All right. So, I have done this side. Now I'm moving on to the uh back section of my hair. So, in the back, I take even bigger sections because in the back I kind of like kind of like all of my volume to be more towards the front and then the back just kind of you know down and flowy um, but it's up to you if you want more volume in the back smaller sections but I'm gonna take kind of a chunk around this size right here okay and I'm just going to brush that out now in the back I don't start as closely to the roots I come kind of like midway down the shaft right here okay and then I just clamp that and hold it now for since these are larger sections I hold it a little bit longer so like five seconds and now I'm going to go down a little bit and twist it back up Hold it again for five seconds. Four, five, go down, twist it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna let that drop. So there's the curl, okay, for the back. And I'm just gonna let that cool off. So this is what I have so far. Now, some of these little pieces that <laughs> I have missed here what I'm gonna do is just go back and um, just kind of get those little end parts so I'll just start at the end there and then do that and just get those little pieces that are just hanging because sometimes you do that you you will miss a couple of spots and you can just go back and, and get them okay so, here's what I got. I'm just going to get this little piece right here. Alright. Okay. So, this side is finished. Okay. Now, I'm going to go on to this side right here. And I'm going to start in the front again. So I just section off a really small piece right here. Like I said, I like it to be fuller in the front, so smaller pieces. And go ahead and do this section. And this one I'll do three seconds for each little go around. All right, so that one's done. So, I'm going to do this side the exact same way I did the side, this side right here, and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the results. I have now completely uh, curled all sides of my hair, and as you can see, these are not tight curls because that's not the look that I was going for. Going for volume and bigness here. And now I'm just gonna take my fingers 
and I'm going to just kind of comb through it like that okay so you can get your desired volume you guys see there's a big difference from where I started and now okay so you just kind of play with it and yeah that's pretty much it all right thank you guys so much for watching my video I really really hope that you enjoyed it um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below and I will try to reply back to all of them as soon as possible I promise also if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe I have more fun videos and tutorials to come um, remember this channel is for you guys so if you have any videos or tutorials that you want to see let me know and I will hop on it I promise all right thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye